Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is a video request. So today's video request is a uh, a request that I received of one of my subscribers and a good friend of mine. He's a, a techie guru, as my like myself. And uh, he has a YouTube channel, and it's uh, his YouTube channel is basically All Is Magic One. That's his YouTube name. So check him out. And he basically left me a um, a comment on one of my videos that I posted to um, not not too long ago. And he basically said, "Is there any way to change the Windows 8 Start menu to to the old Start menu?" And I basically said, "Yeah." Uh, I shot him a, a, a quick comment with a registry hack, which I'm going to show you guys right now. And within the registry hack, if you go to HKEY Current Users Software Microsoft Windows Current Version Explorer, if you look for this, you're going to see it everywhere on the internet. But believe it or not, it's not going to work for the full blown Windows 8 operating system. This trick will only work for the customer preview because, believe it or not, the customer preview used to have. A, uh, a D word called RP enabled and all you have to do is change the one to a zero and it will automatically you will see a start button on the bottom uh, I believe Microsoft got a little smarter and removed that registry key and removed that feature away from Windows 8 so how can you get the start menu on the Windows 8 now if you don't have a touchscreen computer and you spend all your time on the desktop, Windows 8's new features can seem kind of extrusive. Uh, Microsoft won't allow you to disable the new interface like before in a custom preview, like I said before, but Classic Shell provides the option Microsoft didn't. Now, what's Classic Shell? You probably are you're asking yourself. So, there's this cool website if you go to uh, Classic Shell. SourceForge.net. There's this cool little app. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I am actually going to post this link at the bottom of the description so you guys can actually check it out. And if you check it out, hey, give me some comments. Uh, I'm only going to show you how it looks in the installation. If you are playing with it a little bit more and you like it, hey, leave me some comments. I always love the comments and the feedback is great, guys. So I already downloaded the file. The file is pretty cool. I like the icon, it looks pretty neat. Um, I'm gonna double click on it and we're gonna start the installation very self you know straightforward uh, yeah I, I believe this is all we want the classic IE 9 uh, I don't know I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do everything so classic Explorer adds a toolbar to the Windows Explorer replaces the copy UI and fixes some usability problems that looks pretty cool classic menu nice classic IE lets you customize the title bar and status bar nice I'm gonna leave everything as default and I am going to hit next and install let's see what's gonna happen with this again Windows 8 and the start menu is basically you have to use the charm uh, you have to actually move your mouse over to the side to receive this and you can hit the start button or you can hit on the keyboard to start the Windows key and it will take you straight there. For example, there you go. Click it again and it will take you back. So, uh, click finish to blah blah. Okay, click finish. Bam! There you go, guys. Automatically opens up WordPad, a nice little preview, like explanation of what's going on, how to install it, blah blah. But Look at the very bottom. What do you see, guys? You see a start menu. Awesome. When you click it at the first time, it looks like um, you get to pick what option you want. I'm going to pick, whew, they got Windows XP, Windows. I'm going to pick the Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, the menu item in the skin setting will be reset to match. Yes, I want that. That looks good. Yeah, OK. And basic settings, I'm gonna keep it as is. Skin, you able to change the skin? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it as Windows Arrow, and uh, let's press OK. And let's hit 
Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I am I am pretty excited about this. This is pretty cool. Look at that. It even has the folder that I pinned in one of my episodes. And I also have it on the desktop. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, this is exciting stuff right now. This is a, a short, quick way of to get the start menu. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Please leave me comments right below. Give me thumbs up, and at the very top, there is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.